Yo, what's up guys? My name is Warwick from Walk Among Kings. This video is basically going to pick up where the last one ended. So we've got your guitar and FL Studio communicating. Now the next thing to do is to add some amps, distortions, uh, reverbs, delays, all that good stuff. All right, so I found a really great free plugin for you guys to use for this purpose. So I've added the, the link in the description. The plugin is called Guitar Rig. It is the demo that I've added. The demo give, gives you the, the full functionality as the, the normal, as the normal full version, sorry. The only difference is every 30 minutes, the, the plugin basically like times out. So all you gotta do is restart the plugin and then boom, you can um, keep playing and using it. It's a really amazing quality sounding plugin, especially that it's, it's basically free. Um, and it's made by a really great company, also Native Instruments. So yeah, um, all you got to do is just give them your email address and then you can um, download that. All right, guys, once you've downloaded the plugin, I want to show you how just to make sure you can actually find it in FL Studio. So what I would suggest to do, guys, is if you follow my mouse, you want to click here on the Options tab. And then we're going to come down to Manage Plugins. Click on Manage Plugins for me. All right, you see it's going to bring up this screen. What you guys will do then is press Start Scan. I don't have to do that because I've already scanned just previously for the purpose of this video. But once you've completed scanning, let the, it takes a bit of a while, um, then just type in here, Guitar Rig. Yours will probably be like a highlighted yellow or like a gold color to show you that it's a new plugin that FL Studio has seen for the first time. So what you want to do is just click on it over here. And then once you've clicked on it, FL Studio will now officially recognize the plugin. All right, so once we've done that, what we need to do now is add that plugin onto the same fix, onto the same channel rack that we were using previously when we um, were recording the guitar. So let's press F9 again to bring up our mixer rack. All right, there we can click on the guitar. You'll see it's still there at the moment. And what we wanna do is we're gonna come here to where it says slot number one. And now we're gonna look and we'll see there in our list, Guitar Rig 5. Okay, so let's press F9 to close. Okay, you'll see uh, guys, it's brought up Guitar Rig. Now let's click on it. Uh, I really enjoy this preset. You see, yeah, it brings up the, um, the demo and it's going to tell you after 30 minutes it's going to close. So that's perfectly fine. After 30 minutes, all we do is exactly the same, we, we, the same way we just opened it. We're going to close it and then reopen it just like that. So click OK. All right, guys, you can hear now, as soon as I added the plugin, I started getting a, a bit of buzz coming through my guitar. So my, clearly I need a new cable. So what we can do here is we go, if you follow my mouse, we're going to go up to the Gates tab. We just pull that up a little bit. And you can see now we, there's a lot less buzz coming through. Um, this is, a, like I said, it's a good way just to clean up a bit of the mess. You don't want to pull up the gate too much because it will thin out your guitar. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> once we've done that, pretty much we can now play. Um, I've added a drum loop over here just to show you guys but yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys gained some knowledge and some value from this video please drop a like and subscribe if you did and drop a, um, some questions in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to cover next but otherwise peace much love and thank you very much